Hi everyone, this is another 16 by 20 acrylic painting on stretched canvas. Because this particular painting is mostly one large form, I actually start with very loose line art drawn right in with the brush with the same sort of color I use to then fill in the lines. And this first step of killing the canvas is not about accuracy in size, placement, position, or color. It's just about getting paint on the canvas, giving myself something to work with and something to continually build on and correct as I go. For this stage, it's a really good idea to use a very stiff bristled brush and really scrub the paints right into the canvas. One of the goals is actually to cover the entire canvas to make sure when your painting is finished, you don't have the white specks of acrylic primer showing through in parts of your painting. This black handled brush is really cool. It's a faux finish painting brush. So its bristles are designed in a way to give you many thin lines spaced out with each other which is great for quickly painting large up-close animals with a thick fur texture. And you see I move to a very fine point brush once I know everything's in the right place and the right general size and shape and I'm ready to start really working on fine details and really fine refinements. You'll see I save the edge of the lion's mane for last because this way I can keep bouncing back and forth between working on the background and the foreground very easily. And then once I'm pretty sure I'm 99% done with the background, then I'll really start working on the final edges of the lion's mane that overlap the background. A really good trick for painting in general, but especially acrylic painting, is every time you mix a new color to put down on the canvas somewhere, when you're done with the spot you initially intended to place the color, look for other places on the canvas you can put that color directly or put a diluted version of that color because that's going to help color balance your painting and add richness and interest to your painting. And at this point in the painting process, it's more and more about subtle refinement of finding those really fine details and highlights and shadow shapes to add in. But it's also really important to take steps back from your painting and intentionally squint sometimes to put your vision out of focus and really look at your reference images and your painting back and forth and see if there are areas that you currently don't have shadowed enough or have too shadowed and the same thing with highlights. As you make progress, specific parts of the painting are going to jump out at you as needing more love, as needing more blending, more shadow, more structure, more details, and so on. And you should just take care of those issues as you see them. And now you see the trick that you'll notice in almost all of my time-lapse painting videos. When I know I'm getting pretty close to finishing the painting, I sign my name, so long as the area where I would sign my name is obviously pretty much finished. And this just helps you finish your painting. It helps you find kind of psychological closure. And then what I do is I take a step back, I spend a good hour looking at my painting, and just figuring out exactly what the last things are I need to do to finish the painting. And I try to get that list so concise that I can finish the painting with one last painting session going through that checklist. And after those last few steps are done, here's the finished painting. Thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more painting videos like this one and tutorial videos. If you do like this or any of my other paintings, please visit my page on fineartamerica.com where you can purchase anything from beautifully framed museum quality prints of my paintings to throw pillows, cell phone cases, and even shower curtains of my art. Or share this video with your friends if you think they might also enjoy watching. Your support is greatly appreciated and will allow me to make more art and videos more frequently. And thanks very much for watching.